Hello and welcome. In this math tutorial, our task is to solve the radical equation on the board. And we are going to do this in the simplest way possible, without having to square both sides and thereby run into hard polynomial equations. Now let us look at the left-hand side of this equation. We have the square root of x plus, now we are going to write half as 1 over 4 plus 1 over 4. Of course, you know that 1 over 4 plus 1 over 4 is equal to half. And then we have plus 2 times half times the square root of x plus 1 over 4. Of course, you know that 2 times half is equal to 1. And when you multiply any quantity by 1, it remains the same. So we have not changed the left-hand side of this equation in any way. Now, on the right-hand side, we still have 4 minus x. Now, let us look at this. Here, we have the square root of x plus 1 over 4. Let us call it b. Now, come over to this side. We have x plus 1 over 4. Notice that if this is equal to b, then this is going to be b squared. Because when you square the square root of x plus 1 over 4, you get x plus 1 over 4. In the same way, if we call this a, then 1 over 4 is going to be equal to a squared. Because the square of half is 1 over 4. So that means that on the left-hand side of this equation, we have something that looks like the square root of b squared plus a squared plus 2 times a times b. And of course, this is equal to 4 minus x, where a is equal to half and b is equal to the square root of x plus 1 over 4. But of course, you know that a squared plus b squared plus 2 times a times b is equal to a plus b squared. Because of course, when we expand this bracket, we have a squared plus b squared plus 2 times a times b. So that means that on the left-hand side of this equation, we have the square root of a plus b squared. And on the right-hand side, we still have 4 minus x. Now, here, of course, you can see that the square is going to take care of the square root. And we have a plus b is equal to 4 minus x. But of course, a is half. And b is the square root of x plus 1 over 4. And this is equal to 4 minus x. Now let us compare this equation with the original equation. On the left hand side, we have half plus the square root of x plus 1 over 4. Here we have half plus the square root of x plus 1 over 4. And we are told that this is equal to 4 minus x. So that means that we can rewrite this original equation as the square root of x plus this is equal to 4 minus x. And this is still equal to 4 minus x. Now, when we simplify this, we have the square root of x minus x is equal to 0. So we have 4. This is equal to 4 minus x. When we rearrange this equation, we have that x is equal to 4 minus the square root of 4. 4 minus the square root of 4 is 2. 4 minus 2 is equal to 2. 
So we have that the value of x that satisfies this radical equation is x equal to 2. Now let us check our answer. When we substitute x equal to 2 into the original equation, we have 2 plus 1 over 2 plus the square root of 2 plus 1 over 4. Is this equal to 4 minus 2? Here we have the square root of 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1. 5 over 2 plus the square root of 4 times 2 is 8 plus 1. 9 over 4. Is this equal to 2? Of course, this is the square root of 5 over 2 plus the square root of 9 over 4 is 3 over 2. This is the square root of 5 plus 3 is 8 divided by 2. 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4. And the square root of 4 is equal to 2. So you can see that the left hand side of the equation is equal to the right hand side of the equation. And with that, we come to the end of this tutorial. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoy such content, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us a thumbs up to support the channel. Thanks for watching. And you can see more videos here.